Is my audio good? Check, 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 Sounds check. Good. Sounds good. All right. Put my camera down in the sand. All right, everybody. Hello and welcome. We're coming to you today from Louisiana, the Mississippi River Delta at the very end of Mississippi, Venice, Louisiana. We stayed in, uh, what's it called? New Orleans last night. Drove out here this morning. It's about six in the morning. We're with Weeks Marine today. The crew is changing out right now. They run 24 hours a day, seven days a week out here. And what's going on is they're placing about 10 million yards of sand to restore a lot of this part of the coastline for the sake of um, flood, storm protection, and also habitat restoration. So they're placing all the sand along the coast and then eventually once they're done, they're going to plant a bunch of nice trees and birds are going to be very happy here. And whenever storms come through here, all of the surrounding land is going to be not washed off because this is going to protect it all. So this is fantastic. It's a dredging operation. I've never seen dredging before. 30,000 feet away, they have a cutting dredge, a cutter dredge working off the seafloor scooping up, stirring up the sand, sucking it up, pumping it 30,000 feet over here, and then this is where they're placing it. So as we drove out here, we were driving, and what I'm standing on right now is all the material they've already placed. They're about halfway done, and they still have quite a ways to go. To place everything, so they have the dredge, pump all of the sand and water over to here, They'll position these pipes in different areas to direct the flow of the material accordingly. And then they use marsh buggies, which I've never seen before up close. I'm very excited about these. And dozers to place the material. They use GPS to know where they're supposed to be. And he said they place it about a half a foot high to make sure that they're meeting the, the minimum they have to meet on this job for everything to buy off and everything to be good to go. The marsh buggy is a purpose-built machine for this kind of work. They are using right here next-gen CAT 330 excavators. They replace the undercarriage with a much larger undercarriage to allow the excavator to float in water and soft material. So it's essentially just swamp where they're working. It's just wet sand. So you need something like a dozer with LGP pads or these marsh buggies to just walk out on, on it without getting stuck. I'll actually probably ask them if they get things stuck because it's a little wet out here. So we're gonna wait for these guys to get fired up. They got seven dozers, seven marsh buggies, some loaders, and it's gonna be a really great one. Welcome to Louisiana. All right, everybody. We're out here at the very end of everything they're doing. So we have the dredge all the way out in the Mississippi pumping the sand. The discharge pipe is right there. I can almost throw a rock to it. And then we have the swamp buggies out here, the 330 excavators, specially built for this purpose. The, the, the goal is to place a majority of the material using water and gravity. You don't want to be moving the material, but because you're using water and gravity, you have to make sure you're controlling the material in the first place. So this excavator will come out here, walk out, and we'll build these dikes that we're standing on that'll control the water flow 
So as the sediment and water comes out of the discharge pipe, it'll settle real nice into this channel here and get them to the grade they need to get to without having to push all of that material with the machines. So the dozers, they're really not to go push all of the material because they can place more than 100,000 yards in a day using this method. The dozers are really just there to finish and the excavators are here to build these dikes and control the water flow so that they let the water and the gravity do a majority of the work. I can't wait to ride in that thing. I can explain this here. So they place a lot of the material using D6s, CAT D6s. LGP machine, obviously, really soft conditions. These machines, I see them at auction. They're completely wrecked once they're done working out here because they're working in sand, which is extremely corrosive. And they're working in salt water, which is extremely corrosive. Because they're working in such a soft environment, they rig everything up. They pre-rig everything up, so all these machines have these slings on them already so when they get stuck they can just grab it and pull each other out without having to mess around with the hitch the thing is this machine if it gets buried you can't even get down to the hitch so good luck trying to get the sling on the first place so they just keep them on because they're getting stuck pretty frequently out here Should I grab my GoPro too? So to give everybody just a brief rundown of as far as what happened. We are outside of Venice, Louisiana, at the very mouth, very end of the Mississippi River. I've always wanted to come down here. Here we are. But what's happened with the Mississippi is over the years, we've built the Mississippi up and there's levees on either side of the Mississippi to keep the channel um, to, to, to keep the channel deep enough for ships to pass through the Mississippi since it's a really important shipping route and then also to prevent the surrounding land from flooding in the event of hurricane or whatever that is, uh, whatever the flood event is. The problem with that is now that the Mississippi can't flood, there's a lot of native land that's been eroded away because the sediment hasn't been replaced. The sediment's getting flushed right out into the ocean and it's not sitting up here where it should be sitting. So 
Louisiana and the agency overseeing this project, the purpose of this is to restore a lot of the habitat that should be there naturally but isn't. Um, it's dual purpose, they're restoring the habitat and it provides further flood storm protection for uh, the area further inland. So to get the material, what Weeks Marine is doing is they have their cutter dredge out in the Mississippi River. It's cutting um, at a depth of 50, 60 feet in the Mississippi. It's cutting the sand, it sucks the sand up into a, a siphon, it pumps the sand 30,000 feet out to the placement area and then they place the sand using marsh buggies, excavator, uh, marsh buggies, dozers, and just basically gravity. It's a really, really cool job. Once they're done, all of that is gonna be beautiful trees and bird habitat, and there's gonna be alligators everywhere, which we just saw two alligators. You can't come to Louisiana without seeing alligators. And when storms come, further inland will be good to go. So they're placing about 10 million yards of material to do this, and they're a year in with one more year to go. So that is your very basic overview as far as what is happening here today, what we saw. We got some footage of the dredge, we got alligator footage, and now we're headed back to New Orleans for the afternoon before we fly home to Nashville. Thanks for tuning in, and thanks to Weeks Marine for having us out. That was absolutely spectacular. I've been very excited to see this project for a month or two now. So really appreciate that. Hope everybody enjoyed it. And with that, we'll see you on the next one. Stay dirty, everybody.